My name is Mami Sisaki. I am 16 years old. And if you're watching this right now, you should know that I'm dead. Yep, gone. Too bad, but I'm sure you're wondering why or how my life was cut so short. Well, you will want to sit tight for this. I lived a pretty good life. In school, I was always first in class and the teacher's favorite. In church, I was the lead alto in the choir. And at home, I was the dutiful and good only child. To the world, I was the outgoing darling girl, but there was far more going on with me that I had to keep secret. Too much that I had to bottle inside. This was supposed to end my misery and put to bed my shame. Then, that was it. Anytime a young person like myself dies, the funeral is quickly done and the ceremony is intimate. So a select few people who knew me came. But with everyone showing sadness, it's hard to tell who really is responsible for my death. Yep, I said it. They killed me. I what did I do for here? What? You're not doing enough. What do you mean? I didn't mean to hear you for here. Ah, you. What's your problem? First, I don't know so all this to be your fault. This is like this thing not gonna happen. If you are just what you saw today plus your stupid face. Nakwame, stop this. This is not the time or place. Ah. You are the Nanakwame. It's a little too late now for my friends to have my back after what they did. Obina too, looking as if he didn't know anything about how and why I died, is a shocker. Take my dear mother, for instance. Why would she want me dead? If she really cared, she would have done things differently. No matter how close he was to us, even Pastor Chum didn't see this coming. May we all please be seated. Thank you. We are here today because of our dear sister, Mami Esisaki. A young, beautiful soul 
we will continue to live in our hearts. Psalm 116 verse 15 says, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Grief is never an easy burden to bear. It is a much greater burden when it comes in what we can only regard as an untimely fashion. Mavis. here today because Oh God, she knows. You think so? No, I know. Oh no. Life, they say, is the beginning of death. And well, we are just getting started. They say things aren't always as they seem. AC seemed to be doing all right, but beneath all that, there were secrets, lies, and confusion. There's always help when you need it. Satuwa and our Danphobia called 080-208-585 or download the Ghana Health Service YMK app to chat with the counselor. 